Nam, how's it feel to get that first UFC win? Oh, it feels great, you know, ecstatic. I can't describe what I'm feeling right now. It feels amazing. It's really hard to get these wins at UFC, man, for sure. Well, this one was billed as a all-out slugfest. You guys didn't disappoint. Tell us, uh, you know, especially uh, when he looked like he had you hurt in that third round, how close was was it, and were you hurt? Oh, man, I, that came, I think I got a little sloppy or something. You know, my hand nearly, you know, up. I know he throws hard and caught me slipping. And, um, you know, I came pretty close, but, you know, dude, I, I, can't, I can't go out like this, you know. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta get back in there, you know, I can't disappoint. Yes. Did you feel as though you were fighting for your job out there? Oh, definitely. I, I felt like, you know, this was the last pitch and I had to hit a home run. And, like, if I did it, man, it's, you know, goodbye, Nam fan, you know? Mm -hmm. And were you confident that the judges would give it to you? Because the last time out, we all thought it was going to go to you, and of course, we know what happened. No, I, I wasn't confident that the judges would give it to me, you know. I, like I said in my interviews, um, I felt like I had to defuse a time bomb, and I couldn't finish or defuse the time bomb in 15 minutes. I felt like I lost, and they gave me the decision, especially in, their home, in his hometown of Texas. Did you think you had him hurt? I mean, he just kept coming back and back. I felt like I had him hurt plenty of times, but, you know, he's, he's tough, man. He's, he's like a brick wall, man. I keep hitting at him, you know, it doesn't go down. You know? yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think of your performance overall compared to the, the first time you fought him? Mm. I felt like this time, I, I beat him worse this time than last time. I feel like I can't go back. No. I, I got to keep going forward. No matter what, keep yeah. going, just keep my hands on, keep my hands on, just keep putting my hands on me, you know. Keep hitting him to my hands, please. That's why I kept saying, this, this is it. This is my job. You know, I feel like I'm fighting for my family and for my people here. I, I, I can't lose. Did he ever seriously hurt you at any point in the fight? Um, you know, not, I was never hurt, but you know, you get knocked down. I know, I got knocked down, but I, I was never hurt. Is it frustrating to fight a guy like him who, who winds up so much when he punches? Often, though, he misses, and that's a credit to you. But are you thinking about that, the way the judges are, are going to score these rounds when you're in between rounds, that he's not connecting all the time, but it looks very impressive out there? Yeah, I you know, before, you know, um, I didn't think much of it. You know, I felt like the whole point of fighting is you have to land the punches. But after my first fight, my first encounter with Leonard, you know, I know that, you know, even though the punches are very cosmetic, um, but the judges like that. And uh, no matter what, I got to not let him throw so much and keep the pressure on him. Do you think, there's some people say, Man, maybe you do it a third time because it was so close and, and you did technically lose the first one, or would you like to sort of move on at this point from, from the Leonard Garcia chapter of your life? Yes, I felt like, you know, I, I felt like I beat him twice already, you right. know, and um, I'm totally over, I was over it the first time, you know, I was already ready to move on, but there should no way be a third fight, there should be no world match because, you know, if someone wins, and someone, and someone wins is a rematch, and someone wins again, you know, win lose the rubber match. But I feel like I've been twice already, and end of story. Anyone you want to fight next? Um, you know, any, it doesn't matter. It's not up to me. Whoever the UFC thinks can be a good match for me, then make a good, exciting fight. Nam, what is it, you know, with the, the you know, with the, uh, you've had a very close decision with Leonard, then you had a very close decision with Mike Brown, then you get a decision here again. What do you feel like is going to be the thing to put you over the top, uh, in, you know, in the future? Oh, uh, you know, just experience, you know, we always got to uh, keep evolving and uh, I think the, the best thing to do is not think that you're good. You got to realize how good you are and maybe you're not as good as you think you are and continue to evolve.